John 5, 17. Jesus autem respondit eis, pater meus usque modo operatur, et ego operor. And Jesus replied to them, here's a direct quotation, my father is working right up till now, and I also am working. As we saw in the last verse, the Jewish leaders are getting very nervous about these healings of Jesus and the big stir that they're making in Jerusalem and elsewhere. And so they've determined to chase after him, to persecute him, to cause problems for him. But Jesus, knowing how perturbed they were, answered them when he was accused of doing these things on the Sabbath unlawfully. He said, My father, pater meus, meaning God the Father in heaven, usque modo operatur. Now, before we get to usque modo, Let's just look at operatur and operor. These both come from the first conjugation verb operor, operari, operatus. Now, what do you notice about this word? Hopefully you notice it's another deponent. Quid significat deponens? I'm going to just keep saying this to you until you can recite it to me silently in the privacy of your own home, uh, as though I could hear in Latin. Quid significat deponens? Significat... Sensum activum sed formam passivam. It is, that is, active meaning passive form, passive morphology. Again, very important to remember here. Operor, what does it mean to do things, to make things happen? It's related to the word opus, which probably you've seen or remember. So, pater meus usque modo operatur. My father, and this is just... Both of these, operatur and operor, are present indicatives. In the first case, third person singular. In the second case, first person singular. Nothing too crazy going on there. Indicative, present tense. Passive in form, active in meaning. Usque modo. Up till now. If you ever have problems with insomnia, look up the dictionary list of definitions in one of the big Latin dictionaries, let's say Lewis and Short, or the Oxford Latin Dictionary for modo. It's an enormous set of definitions because modo can mean a million different things. In Latin, that's what makes it so much fun to use. One of the things that it can mean is now or just now. And in combination with usque, which means up until, up to a certain point, it means up till now. That is up to this very moment, my father is working. That is, he's working all of the time. And so am I. And this ego is very emphatic. Remember, you don't need to express, as we do in English, the subject with a separate pronoun. So when it happens in Latin, it's very marked. And that's very important here because Jesus, as we're going to see in the next verse, is understood to be making a very provocative claim indeed.